Hello and welcome to Zanata Consulting and the CRM Zen Show's Beginner Series. This is our series on Zoho Books. I'm Brett Martin. I'm Tyler Cole. All right, let's get right to it. One of the most important things you need to set up out of the gate is your chart of accounts. You will find that listed under accountant, and then you will go down to chart of accounts. When you start this, these are all of the basic ones that you will see here. Now, if there is no gear next to it, as you'll notice here uh, in, my, in my demo, you'll see that there's a gear here. If you see a gear, you can edit it, you can mark it as an active, you can delete it. If there is no gear, you do not have the ability to do anything with that. These are basically the stock accounts and you cannot change them. They must be left. And some of these drive people crazy, such as parking. They don't, maybe don't wanna see that, but you can't even rename parking. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can do in here, but unfortunately for a lot of these there where you don't have a little gear allowing you to delete it, you're gonna basically be stuck with that overall, overall chart of accounts. So setting these up is real simple and organizing them is real simple. So as I kind of scroll down here and you kind of see they're broken down by, let's, let's sort these completely by account type. You've got your payment clearing account. So this was automatically added when uh, we added Stripe clearing, which we did in an earlier, uh, episode, an earlier beginner's guide. Um, but then you have all of your expenses. So let's say you wanted things such as travel expense, automobile expense, uh, to all be put under maybe uh, something called travel. So you can kind of categorize these. You've got a couple ways of doing, you don't have to have them flat like this. You actually can build a hierarchical structure. So um, we're going to start by doing something with insurance. So let's go here. We'll go to expense. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an, an account called insurance. And this is going to be the main account and I will save it. So now I have an expense account called insurance, as you can see right here. Now I want to break down my various types of insurance for reporting purposes. So now I will go ahead and I will create another account. Again, you have all of these various accounts, assets, cash, bank, fixed access. So You've got liability accounts, you've got equity accounts, income accounts, expense. We're going to go with expense again here. This is going to be a straight up expense cost, and we will call this auto insurance. And we're going to make it a sub account of insurance. And if you want to, by the way, you can give this a GL. That's what the account code is in here. It's your standard general ledger. A lot of companies use general ledgers. So if, if you do so, then you will want to put an account code in here. And you can also give it a description. And if you want to, you can add this to your dashboard. So on your dashboard in Zoho Books, you have this really nice feature where you can just track the expenses that you really care about. So maybe in your business, you know, you've got a real problem with entertainment expenses. You've got a sales team that's just out there going to Vegas all the time. And you kind of want to keep a real, you want to see that in real time. You, if you were to add that to your dashboard, every time you logged in, you could see how much money people are spending on entertainment and meals and those kind of things. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and save this. And now you can see we built the insurance and auto insurance, and we'll do that one more time. This time we're going to have a, another expense, and this will be liability insurance. And we're going to make the sub account under insurance, and we'll go ahead and save it. And so now you've got this nice little subcategory here as you have set up all of your various chart of accounts. Super important for your reporting at the end of the year when you look at your P&L and as you try to break things down, you're going to want to categorize these in a, in a way that truly makes sense to you. Uh, so take a look at these, get rid of the ones you don't, keep the ones you can, and try to go ahead and take a, a look at what you think fits your business and what types of categories you need for your business. Uh, another thing I will point out here is you also have the ability to um, go ahead and import a chart of accounts. Uh, super nice if you're coming from QuickBooks or any of the other accounting packages. What I suggest is if you click on this import chart of accounts, one of the things you can do is you can download a sample file. So click on that, go ahead and download this sample file. It's going to give you an Excel spreadsheet that gives you all of the header columns you want. 
download your old chart of accounts from your other accounting software, and then kind of clean it up first and put it into, uh, and make sure it's in the format that you get in this sample file. And then you can just quickly do a nice little upload and uh, completely get your entire chart of accounts set up that way as well. And that's it for setting up chart of accounts. We want to thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please drop us a line over at info at